<laughs> episode eight. Thanks for tuning in. It's great to have you here with me and Davey. For the right companion. Hi. Hi. How's I'm it going? In. Hi, Davey. <laughs> And this is the ride companion. What a weird start. It'd be really weird, yeah. If, if you're out really riding weird. and you've you've just heard that, you'd be like, oh god, this is this bike ride's got strange all of a sudden, hasn't it? Like, yeah, but I just made it weird. I've just made it weird, haven't I? How are you, dude? Talk us, uh... come on, to, talk us through it. Where are we at? Uh, pretty shit, but pretty good at the same time. I think you have to um, you have to go through these shit days to get to a good day, like you yeah. said. So absolutely. Yeah, a bit Why of an update. Day? Culmination of things today. We've culminated with three things coming together at once. A merger. Go on. A merger. So the th- maybe it's two things. Mm, I don't know. So the three things that have come together are coming off morphine. Yeah. That was last sort of end of last week. Coming off tramadol. So all opioids as of yesterday. So this is day two of opioid withdrawal and let me tell you oliver opioid withdrawal is a thing it's not enjoying it horrible i am sat here like i said before i'm sweating profusely heads all keep going really dizzy like really dizzy yeah really dizzy so um really dizzy and i mean i've read through a lot of this stuff in anticipation for going like coming off them and i'm experiencing all of it anxiety restlessness Dude, all of it. It's really? horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. It's and it, and to be honest, the reason I've done it is I've been weaning down off opioids opioids since uh, about th- four weeks ago. So you're meant to come one tablet every week. So I started on eight. So after four weeks, I should technically now probably still be on about four a day. Yeah. But it's it got to the point where I couldn't even. They, they want you to to take them for that long. Yeah, the course. Yeah. Yeah, Bloody one a week hell. you should come down. Yeah, so it got to the point where I couldn't stomach putting them in my body anymore. I was I, honestly, I don't know if I said this on the last episode, especially with the morphine. I'd look at it for like ten minutes. I'd just sit on my bed or wherever I was taking it and just keep just staring at it. Like I can't do it anymore. Like I can't keep taking this stuff because it's a culmination of feeling shit while you're on it and then shit while you're off it. So you know that either way Horrible. you feel shit. So anyway. So, so anyway, how long have you? So how long have you been on it for the for your for before you went completely? Yeah, off come it? off it. So six, six it. just over six weeks. Six weeks, so, right? Yeah. I don't think and I've then on Monday, had, I don't think I've ever had it for six weeks. So, you, so this is your sixth sixth week. Yeah, yeah. So and then on Monday I took uh, two tablets for the first time. Yeah. Sorry, Sunday. Lying to you, it's Sunday. We're recording this today. It's Tuesday. So on Sunday I took two tablets. And the issue I found with taking two tablets is I had one at 10 a.m. and one at 10 p.m. But that gap in between was enough to start having withdrawal. And then and then, it, and then when I took my 10 p.m. one and went to bed, I basically felt like I'd never had them before because the gap was so long. So I yeah, took, yeah. This, took the pain pill, took the, uh, the, the tramadol, went to bed. And then Emma said, I was basically, I was drooling in the night. I was slurring in my, I was like slurring. I was just going like that to her. I had the trippiest, most horrible dreams yeah, ever. I Didn't dreams get any I sleep. Found with those. Yeah, horrible yeah, dreams. Eh? Really, I was dreaming that Dark my mouth ones. had been taped up and I kept, um, I kept waking up and I was hitting myself in the face trying to get my mouth. No way. Un- yeah, dude, horrible. So then Did I woke, so, so then Monday morning I was like, right that's it i'm not why would you do that again like have two tramadol and know that you're going to be in for a shit afternoon yeah, and that's a shit evening that you're getting the full effect yeah, that, yeah I so i was like it. right i'm going for it i'm just cutting it out so that's what i did i just cut it out on monday uh yesterday so today's tuesday and definitely feeling pretty shit today to be honest pretty uh yeah bummed. withdrawal just bummed yeah it feels like been bummed so there's that so there's a culmination of those two things and then i went to the physio last night for the first time yeah so that was brilliant though really good it was good to actually speak to someone about it about injury and what i should be doing and shouldn't be doing but obviously he did prod around a little bit and had me doing some exercises that i didn't think i was capable of um and then last good night that. that's, that, that's it is one good. of the best things about physio isn't it because it is. quite often you like um in an injury you like start avoiding pain 
Yeah, or you'll just definitely you know what hurts, even if it's even with walking, you're dude. Like, it, it. yeah, if, if you watch me walk at the moment, um, I walk. I'm walking with like a limp that mm. because I'm stopping my back from moving. Yeah, so yeah. I'm basically super rigid, and when I walk, I limp so that my back doesn't move. Um, so he helped help me, like you know, f- figure out that and starting to fix that goosey. a little bit. Yeah, I'm going a bit and trying. Um, and then last night I slept, um, laid down for the first time. Have you been sleeping? Since sat upright, bolt Have upright. Have you? Ever since? Fuck me, six yeah. weeks of upright sleep. Yeah, yeah. So my back's just like it's just lock solid like my back my neck my shoulders are just lock solid because i've not been moving and then at night you just sort of sat like this so i didn't know you were sat up sleeping that is shit isn't it and why is that yeah. it's just too painful on your on your back i think it's well uh, not to throw shade again on on you know the nhs and stuff but there's no there is no advice there's literally nothing so no, and, you think to that be honest, this is the best thing be to a... do yeah, they might just. Yeah, the, you know, it yeah, is, they might it not is be. kind of, yeah. isn't it? You know, like, yeah, I, I hear and, you. And you're like worried. It's like, especially after I went back to hospital two weeks ago, thinking that you know I was injured again. I was like just scared of it, dude. I was like, I don't, I don't lie down. If I lay down and something sticks in me, I'm going to be game over again for another x amount of weeks. So I was, yeah. it's just taking the easy road all the time because you don't know what yeah, to do and what to push, yeah. right? So yeah. Anyway, I put the violin down. It's shit, but I'm getting through it. <laughs> what um is it still graunchy? You can still feel it moving, or do you reckon you're getting to the end of that? I think I'm getting to the end of that. It's nice. painful. It's painful. It yeah. is painful, but it's not the same sort of pain. And the way that the physio explained it yesterday was, you know, if you take a really hard hit, it's very easy for the for the ribs to penetrate through all of like the muscle and the sort of skin or whatever it is that's there before the lung, and that's what punctures the lung. And and what I was scared of is moving around and that happening again. He yeah. was like, "It's not going to happen again." Like, yeah, you built really up that helpful, wall again. He just need that thing in, to tell you, like, do something, like push it a little bit. Take painkillers for physio sessions before wow. they've like said to take them for it because they're going to wrench it around. And it's going to hurt, and yeah. like even that, I was like, "What do you?" Because I don't really like, I like the same as you. I try and not take painkillers if possible. Mm. Yeah. And he said, "Just look, I'm going to." It's gonna hurt loads. It's just gonna make it easier in the. It's, it's a necessary thing. Mm. Maybe it made me think of pain a bit differently. I don't. Yeah, I don't really know. I it's tough, dude. To it's. Not, but... I think as well, if you're mindful of um, what you put in your body, whether it's food or or anything, right? The mm. pain pill is quite a weird one because you're like, I know this is not good for me. Like my organs, my yeah. kidney, my liver probably isn't enjoying having six weeks of opiates put inside it my brain's definitely not enjoying it because i can tell because it's making me trip and i got this thankfully i didn't get any dependency on them or anything i've not had any of that at all like and i'm really grateful for that because obviously some people go the opposite way where they love taking it right and for the last sort of i'm not especially opiates i'll be honest from every injury (laughs) i've had I, I, i quite yeah i'm not See, i've not I'm had not that a drugs guy but fucking opiates i um yeah. i've obviously only ever ex- experienced them in an injury setting but i've got to say i get hyped on it when i'm mm. in there see i've i'm not i'm not into him at all but like I, I didn't i've not enjoyed taking him and i think it's kind of unfortunate in a way that you get pumped full of them and then shipped out from hospital with a bag full and it's like see you later oh, it's just that warm hug <laughs> yeah maybe again i don't yeah i don't know i don't really i don't really think i've even felt that from him to be honest have you not i no, feel there you go. no it'd be, well, be interesting experiment whether you could do that or not like okay go do the same injury again and you're not going to have any pain pills other than paracetamol and dude, how do you feel how crazy is it like opiates for instance people are pe- people take heroin recreationally Obviously, a lot of them, it goes the wrong way and it's terrible and people suffer from awful addiction. There's people that are high functioning and use heroin. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, know. there's businessmen that use it recreationally and yeah. don't have a problem. I'm not saying like, like, like you have to just be a I don't I don't really know anything about it, but that strikes me as madness. Yeah, I don't even know. There is a Joe Rogan had a guest on not that long ago as a doctor. Yeah who takes yeah. recreational heroin. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, it's fine. If you just take little bits, it's fine. Like, okay. I mean, 
I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's, it's everything in moderation. Yeah, it's always creeped me out to thought that because, like, yeah, it's fine when everything's going well in life. You know, if you can control it when everything's going well in life, that's different to being able to control it when things aren't going well in life. And if you just so open true. up the door, I don't know. I, I think I'm, I'm all that's set true. Like, on well, being dependent on stuff. I've never been into uh, taking drugs and stuff. And obviously, as you grow up, you sort of. I've been around it and people taking it and people being super into it. And it's fucking mm. not for me, man. Just as a spectator, nah. I've been like enough to put me off. Even I don't even understand. I'm going to sound really lame here. Like I don't even understand how people can smoke weed and ride dirt jumps. It's such a thing. Like at the trails, mm. there's so much. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's a hang. It's like it's you know, it's a beer and a and a, and a smoke sometimes in it and ride bikes. Yeah. I agree with you totally. And I, I've been in the same situations where people have been doing that and riding, and I've had one or two really bad times on weed. And it put Have me you? off for life. Yeah, I don't like I don't like losing my inhibitions anymore. I don't I don't like losing my like control. Yeah, I don't like it. I used to a little bit. I'd be into it, especially with drinking. I'd, you know, you go out, you get absolutely annihilated, and it's kind of funny in the morning. You wake up and you're like, yeah. "What did we do? Like, what? Who's this person in my bed? Do you know what I mean? That sort of stuff." But, but now I hate anything like that, and I I, I had a, yeah. a few really bad experiences with with smoking weed, and it really put me off for for a long time. And the yeah. issue I had, you know, we spoke about it before about mushrooms, you know, doing those and just ending up in a real pickle. So yeah, there you go. I don't, yeah, I don't really I like really it anymore. Be bothered anymore? I'm not. Yeah, uh, that's no. why that, those um, those days drinks that we talked about last week. Yeah, that, like, that's about right for me nowadays. I'm like, <laughs> I can't be bothered with it, dude. I can't be bothered to ruin tomorrow because I've always I always want tomorrow to be good. So, mm. like, anything that you can take that might ruin tomorrow. Yeah, I sort of forgot what that feeling feels like now when it's the end of a day that you've wasted because you've been yeah. drunk the night before yeah. and you're just like, I've done nothing today other than sit here playing video games or yeah. just feeling sorry for myself. And, you know, you've lost a whole day of your life. Could have been your last day as well, right? Do you know what it is, actually? I don't drink, like, really, ever. And if I do, it's like binge drinking. It's not like I enjoy yeah. it, really, unless it's yeah. binge drinking. So my, I don't really have an ex, I don't really have an opinion or a stance because all I've experienced is like binge drinking, like childlike binge drinking. <laughs> don't do like social <laughs> drinking. It doesn't really happen for mm. me. I don't really. Just like once that. a year, just go hard, and then you remember for the rest of that year, like, oh yeah, this is really shit. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got, bother with you it. You get burnt. You can't be bothered. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah I, I, it's a weird I'm, one. Yeah. I don't I know. I think what, you grow out of it a little bit. I don't know. Hmm. Used to love. I don't know. Younger. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, I, a lot of it's set in as well, like you said. I mean, it's if you were single, does it is it different? I don't know. You want to go out, lose, you know, get a bit of that. I don't know that wet confidence. I think it's called where oh, you just a, a bit. Fucking, that's a gross expression. <laughs> I think I made it up. <laughs> wet confidence. Oh, <laughs> just imagine someone dribbling in your face talking about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> What's your day? Yeah. Where you from? <laughs> <laughs> wet confidence yeah jeez oh. strange bro strange I'm feeling so, uh... wet confident today oh yeah yeah just been for a ride actually I was wet confident yesterday I did a uh, backflip yesterday and then I couldn't it wasn't yesterday day before I did a backflip first time in a long time wow it's so, it's so lame dude I like so I went up <laughs> some trails I was riding I was enjoying it and I'm always the whole time a bit worried about my ankle ankle this pull me the, the injury companion coming through again. Oh, dude, what a boring, boring chat. But like, uh, I um, so I, I I was just feeling loosey goose, I guess, and uh, did a couple of transfers in the line before, and then I was like, do you know what? Fuck it, freedom, and flipped. And on the lip, I felt my so my ankle like bottoms out, and it's like this is like sharp sharp like electric feeling you know like i get it every yeah. now and then when i walk i like stumble and and it did that up the lip and i was just upside down locked like relying on <laughs> relying on like trying to remember how many how Most much experience i've got being upside down like fuck, did i miss the pop it's a horrible feeling i was i was absolutely oh. fine but uh and then it dude. rode me off for the rest of the day riding i couldn't ride so I was just really like, whoa dude we getting old here or what we getting old oh, no. something's going on puts me out for the day 
Something's good. Jeez. Okay. So what, what is the update with that anyway? Weren't you meant to be going in for surgery or got is phone that call. happening? Yeah, there's a, there is an update on that. I got a phone call from the surgeon. He was like, uh, so we've taken a while to look, to properly go through your MRI and uh, it's not looking maybe as simple as what we thought with the surgery, which I don't know, it's get, I guess it's good and bad. It's, it's a, a bit of a bummer. Mm. bit of a bummer all of it I was kind of quite hopeful about the surgery about the thought that it could be a positive change but now he said anyway I'm still I'm still um, pumped on any kind of movement forwards he's gonna yeah I'm gonna get some like steroid injections and some um, I think it, it can last for quite a long time but basically he's gonna isolate exactly where the pain is th- through a series of steroid injections I guess oh wow just yeah. make it I mean, jacked, jacked yeah. ankle, just like, ripped. I mean, we know where the where it hurts, you know. <laughs> it is, it's all frustrating, isn't it? But it's one of those things. Yeah. It's, it's not an easy thing to quickly diagnose and just cut open and do. So no, at least they know, they're still on it though. Like it's always mm. nice, isn't it, to get that bit of um, just uh, just news or some sort of like Absolutely. yeah, some some update is just nice, isn't it? You just Updates know that... are good. Yeah, it's some any any kind of like forwards, any kind of yeah. momentum is good in it for sure. So yeah, I've got got that. I mean, I can I can ride and stuff. It's just, it just bums me out sometimes. Hard tails seem to be the hardest thing right. for me for, for me to get down. You know. Yeah, I guess it probably is that little bit of rear cushion. Hundred percent, yeah, and just the G's yeah. you pull in the takeoff. But it's really something that's really important to me. Like I really love riding dirt jumps, and I really love yeah. riding big steep ones. Like you know, you ride smaller ones, and it's kind of the same. <laughs> not really for me at the minute i'm still as yeah. probably crazy as i was i still want to spin everything flip in everything it's just yeah it's just one yeah. of those things you just sort of like i find it frustrating it's quite a hard thing to do just hold yourself back especially seeing as my job like i want to i want to still be someone who does gnarly stuff i yeah. guess maybe it's... yeah 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 i can see that yeah definitely you do yeah why not i mean you do don't you like you said it's your job you want you do want to be and naturally, you want to be pushing yourself yeah. as well, right? And without naturally. sounding too lame and like I'm being deep about it, I guess it does have a, a certain amount of kind of your own self-identity. You know, if you've done however many years being one of the guys that tries stuff or does dangerous stuff or... Like, I, mm. I don't want to all of a sudden just be not doing that stuff. I don't, I don't feel the same... Um, sense of satisfaction when I come back from the trails and I haven't like spun a big set or when I yeah, go to yeah, a yeah. set of trails and I'm not the guy doing that I don't know there's something something no, maybe a that, bit dude. silly in that but it doesn't feel silly it feels like it's important I want to spin stuff and flip stuff and dude you've done it all your life as well it's yeah, so yeah. natural to be doing that isn't it and it's it's like um it's like when you stop doing a hobby that you love and then you yeah, come back to it and you're just break, like what it? was I doing like I don't I weren't even myself for those few years I was just someone else it's yeah. probably similar to that yeah Mate, it'll be okay. Always is. Always works out. It's always okay. We'll work it out. It'll be good. Always it'll be okay. Good. So, yeah. talking of um, dirt jumping oh. or slope style, I did watch, did you watch Red Bull Roof Ride? I did watch Red Bull Roof Ride. Yes, yeah, dude, did I did. Did you watch the whole I show? Did. I did watch the whole show as well, actually. Yeah, thank God Sick. for... Um, Thank God for Red Bull TV at the moment, dude, and YouTube, because when you're laying around and you ain't got shit to do, yeah. the fact that there's an event on that you can actually get a little bit involved in. feel thankful for all these, all these people, companies, riders. Uh, yeah. Anyone that got content. involved with doing stuff like that happen. You know, yeah. it's probably easy at the moment to just be like, let's just not bother. COVID, this, yeah. that. Let's just not dude, bother. We'll do it next even, year. Do you remember in the, pan, in the first lockdown, there was... Um, a thing saying that like people who are content providers or something may have travel, they might they might have something lifted, and I remember thinking, what yeah. the fuck? you know, like people what people taking pictures of themselves by waterfalls, but no, it means a l- actually, yeah, th- there's so yeah. much stuff that we get to watch for free, it's dude, incredible. totally, yeah, so massively, massively hyped for anything at the moment. I mean, yeah. the the racing last weekend, the World Cup was good because again, you've got for me at the moment, I've got a whole day of. Not much going on. Yeah. So the fact that it's on and then, yeah, the Red Bull um, rooftop ride was, it was sick. And um, How good I knew was it was Matt, on. Matt and Rob, what a great combination, I thought. Great combination, yeah. It was really yeah. good, wasn't it? I actually yeah, saw really, Matt yesterday really and I, I, I said to him, I thought that was brilliant. Because it was like a combination of like 
Rob actually not knowing what was going on and Matt kind of filling <laughs> in on stuff that was so good to listen to. Yeah, it worked well, didn't it? Yeah. I agree totally. And I think it there was enough humour in it that it wasn't like... I don't know, it, it, it did come across really well. I agree with you. I don't really know what the exact terminology is for that. But it was good that Rob was a bit sort of naive to some of the tricks and how hard some of the stuff yeah. was. And, and then Matt being one of those guys to break that down and be like, look what he's just done. Or even notice that someone's just done something opposite. Or, yeah. you know, there's a bar spin somewhere that you didn't Dude, quite totally, catch. Yeah. or and, it, and he spotted the world first straight away. I think it was a double flip no-hander. It was a world first. Bar spin, thing. double flip. Bar spin, double flip. It was one of them. I mean, bar spin, double flip is a rare move. I think it was the first one in competition. <laughs> yeah, that. that. Imagine, I mean, I've only done, I'm not much of a bar spinner. But yeah. the thought of spinning your bars on the first flip in a double flip, because I've done a double flip into foam and it's quite the pull. And the, the, mm. the thought of like like pulling that hard and and then taking all your weight off for the bar spin and then tucking back in for the second rotation, terrifying. Oh, mate, big time. Who even was big it? That's time. really bad. I, I, I actually... Wasn't it Tom Istad? No. Was it not? It wasn't. Okay. It was a Canadian. I'm really sorry for... So okay, I, I'll, I'll do some. I'll do some. I've got it up. Hosting. I've got it up. I've got it up here. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be Griffin Paulson. Griffin Paulson, yeah. yeah. Wow, that yeah. was impressive. Yeah. It was impressive. Big old that jumps really as sick. well, eh? Big jumps, yeah. Dude looked fun, fun event. I mean, for those guys, nothing too crazy. I don't think that could be too. I don't know. Too easy to get injured on. I wouldn't have thought. I don't. I don't know. There was nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't spoken I mean, big, to anyone but... who. Um rode them yet mm. but it would be nice to I mean I think that first jump was pretty massive I mean nothing really comes across you can never really tell anything like the bigger yeah. it is almost the smaller it looks the one like in front of the stadium all, yeah all scaffolding around it you can't really tell yeah. if that was a dirt jump I think it would look ludicrous I think it would be it's funny you, you say that because I did watch the did. clip this morning um, so I'll put a clip down here now if I can yeah. of Rig Atkins 1440 and it it's yeah it's big. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> but again, like dare say that oh, I don't know. It didn't. It looked very safe. Let's just put it that way. Well, there yeah, was not many variables sort of in the fact of it's wood to wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, no, really it's cool. cool event. It's good. Good to watch those things, and it's nice to see big crowds. You know, and some slope style events. You forget we haven't really had any. We, I guess we've had some crank works, but it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, totally. Uh, so David Godjek won it, who I guess was also one of the guys yep. involved in organising it as well. Yeah, Polish. the Godzies both on the podium, weren't they, with Max Yes, Fredrickson. they were. Yes, exactly. Very it's cool. good for Max because I think Max has not been doing many comps for the last couple of years. He's just been focusing on content creation or, or been injured, I'm not too sure, but he's not done much. So that's good. Back on the podium. That's Absolutely. sick. And, uh, and to be honest... Those characters, he's cool and he lands everything so clean. Yeah, and he's like, like I I often feel like you kind of like um, you you can fly under the radar if you're too dialed. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, totally. You know yeah, when you totally. see someone flailing around, just making it out of it, punching the air, and then you've got Max who's just like calculated and perfect. <laughs> Quite often, I think you can get maybe judged lower. So it was cool to see him on podium. Yeah, really cool to see Pilgrim out there as well. I don't yeah. know Sam at all, but obviously being a fan of Sam for a long time and just to see him pop up at a comp was like oh that's cool like really sick and he was you know he did a podium interview saying he'd been doing this for x amount of years and invented the flat drop flat flat drop flat hang on how do you say it flat drop flip yeah that's right isn't it flat yeah. drop back yeah, yeah yeah so he'd invented that and then it was you know it's really cool to see him there i mean i think it was good he brought back the word git as well <laughs> did you hear that <laughs> he did <laughs> these young gits <laughs> That is, you can tell he's oh. searching through his library of different words yeah. that he can on the TV, and, he's, and that's what he came up with, Git. <laughs> I've not heard Git for a long time. I thought he was going with Gimp. I imagine that would have uh, raised some eyebrows, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, fuck no, it's not that made me laugh, Git. Yeah, that was a good one. Wow. Yeah, good. it was really cool. Really, really cool. Good event. Yeah. Enjoyed watching it. Yeah, good, really good. So that's that was a, an FMB gold event too was it? I, yeah, really... I'm a bit out, I, I can't remember the yeah, ratings and stuff an so that's FMB a big point one yeah good to see so many people hyped on our um, triple crown triple crown idea as well actually 
I had a lot yeah. of messages about that. Yeah, none, none from Lamborghini yet, but like... It's coming. Hopefully so. It's coming. They'll have seen it. You, you think it is, yeah? Yeah. They're just seeing if there's a Kuntosh knocking around that they can like <laughs> slide off to some mountain bike guys to drive around for a yeah, bit for the Kuntosh like, Cup. It's, it could be ex-demo. Just get it cleaned up. Yeah. It'll be fine, yeah. yeah. Don't mind. I'm not, we don't not fussy. Mind, do we? we can look after yeah. it until the contest as well. Yes. Well, so it's got to get there somewhere storage, too. storage, doesn't it? Like, you yeah. know, when you're storing a three million pound car. It's better off <laughs> in a drive here, isn't it, really? Next to the mule, I'd say. Yeah, next to the Yeah, definitely. Next to the. Yeah. I'll get one off um, Amazon. Yeah, it'd be all right. Yeah, <laughs> dude, so many people that have reached out about that. It's been really cool. About <laughs> I- ideas for it and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Kuntash Cup, love it. Um, just want to drop a quick teaser because Please. we've got a another sick sponsor joining yeah. us this week. Yeah, and we're not going to talk about it yet. Okay, okay, okay. But I thought we'd put a bit of a teaser out there, play a bit of a game with our listeners, see if they can figure out what it could be. Okay, yeah. Um, so this particular sponsor, the product makes a sound. And I thought if we play the sound of what it does, then people can be like, in the comments maybe, yeah, we can guess, guess and be yeah. like, I think it's this, or and then we'll actually talk about it in a bit. That's so a nice this, idea, yeah. Thanks. This is the sound that our new sponsor product makes. Oh, okay. Hmm, might not be the... Okay, it's a different... All right. A few things it could be. Nice could be a lot of things. To Lovely tone to it. There's actually so there you go. few things it really could be, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know Put what your I mean? thinking caps on, folks. I've only got two in my head. I'm trying to think of more, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not an electric toothbrush. Or just say that for the record. There you go. Right there. You it's go. the other thing right, that you're that's probably thinking of. Narrowed it down, of. then. That narrowed it down. <laughs> that's indeed. <laughs> oh man, have you? Um, this is random. I just wanted to talk. I wanted to throw it in there. See if you'd seen this stuff yet. Have you seen the um, the Milk crate challenge going yeah. on. <laughs> I actually have, yeah. I just but wondered if you'd seen it. it some made of me, the yeah. carcasses on that are terrible. It looks, it's like it's bad. uncontrollable, isn't it? Yeah, I bought a cl- I got a clip because I thought this have one you... really made me laugh. I Please, thought I'd just it. play it. I wonder if any of okay. our listeners have played the milk crate challenge. It'd be great to know. So here it is. You should be able to see it. Yeah, I can see but, it. But um, got to turn the music off Okay. just because... Um, yeah. You know, YouTube and ting. Is it working? Yeah. Here we go. I can see That's a little bit of stuttering. Is. Yeah, you we can see it. <laughs> I believe I can fly by Ellie <coughs> in case you're yeah, just listening. Yeah, you can figure it out. Watching. Maybe so, we can talk you through. So it's a pyramid of the old school milk crates. And basically, mm-hmm. as you get higher, the risk gets more. And it's That's gone correct. viral on the internet, people trying to climb over these pyramids of milk yeah. crates. Yeah, there's a slightly racist terminology for it, which we're not going to use. But yeah, let's just say... What's that then? Well, there's not many white people doing it, dude. Let's just put it that way. (laughs) Shit, I didn't even... So here he is. He's on the top, top step of the podium here. He's got a bit of a wobble on, old boy. And... uh... (laughs) Oh, he's up there. This is the worst place you can be. He's at the... As you say, he's at the top step. He's at the pinnacle. The legs are going. Dude, the crates rocking, are moving. <laughs> oh no! Uh oh. That is a huge carcass. Is that? A, what do you reckon? Is that a scaphoid and a? He looks confused after. He, he looks how head, I feel at the he? moment. Poor dude. He looks exactly how I feel. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I found that online and I thought I want to play that because it makes me laugh. So there we go. There we go. Why no, not I've do that? Join the milk crate challenges. I'm, yeah. I'd, I'd be interested to see if anyone listens to giving it a go. But really, what I'm asking is, can you send in clips of you falling off milk crates aren't I really? People can do it, yeah. though. I saw a chick doing it in, like, yeah. um, high heels. i seen a guy doing it. Uh, he got to the top on the top step, did some curls with some 25-pound dumbbells, ate, a, ate some food, and then walked straight down. And I've also seen a guy rolling a joint, walking up, gets to the top, rolls a joint, walks back down the other side. Wow, so it's re- it really is possible, huh? Yeah, it I really don't know is how possible. I'd fare. I don't think I'd actually attempt it. Really? Yeah, I think I'm. Yeah, so not just... up for breaking my wrist climbing milk crates. Reverse scorpion over one of those oh, milk crates just looks like such it's just horrible not... crashes, eh? 
Is it worth it? Yeah. Really? Not yeah. really. Not for any any social media stardom, I don't think. No, I don't know. I don't so. Anyway, it made me laugh that things like that are going on in the world, you know. It's such a dark time with everything that's going on. People are just fucking around with milk crates, dude. And, like, why not, you know? Like, why not? Funny all weird stuff goes viral, isn't it? Mm. It's yeah, mega it's... weird, actually, isn't it? Like, like the Harlem <laughs> Shake and, like, like all those things that become, like, meme. Me- I don't even know what the terminology is. Is it is that yeah. meme? I think vir- yeah, viral meme. Just... Meme, yeah. Who knows? My girlfriend's really into the TikTok thing at the minute, but not personally. It's through work, and um, that's a really weird world when you start going down that, because she just constantly sits and listens to the same bits of music, like on repeat, because it gets into this like algorithm where everyone starts using the same yeah. clip out of a music track. Yeah, Deeks uses all of those clips, doesn't he? Is he on TikTok? Deeks is on TikTok, yeah. Is he? He doesn't do dancing. He just puts up like GoPro things, and then he just does it with the most. The most viewed Does music it? or whatever, the most used music. Wow, I didn't know Deke was on TikTok. Yeah, I, I don't have TikTok to look, but yeah. It's funny, actually, so a lot of people have, again, messaged through the week. It's the Malvern's Classic this weekend. Yes. And Deeks is there. Deeks Unfortunately, is there. I can't make it, you can't make it. No. And there's probably going to be a, quite a few people listening to this who are also going to be going to the Malvern's Classic. Yes. So... Probably should try and make Deke's life a bit hell, like a bit tougher, right? With some sort of what challenge for people. What are you thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking. I've got a few ideas. I think there's got to be a some sort of like best selfie competition that we can play on next week's podcasts. That'd be good. Podcast. A best selfie with Deeks, you know, best one. We'll come up with some prizes. Yeah, that's a really good idea. And if you can somehow include feet, maybe. If you can include feet, that's a massive win. Even but just I, shots I think... of Deke's feet would be... It'd be quite annoying having people around you taking pictures of your feet, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? I think you just got to try and make his life that little bit harder while he's there, really, right? <laughs> <laughs> so good. <kind. laughs> yeah, mainly just for a bit of comedy value. The guy just did really well out at World Champs as well. He National did... World Champs. Uh, what was it called? Masters World Champs, Masters, right? Masters, yeah. Yeah. Just outside the top ten. Told guy. Killed it. What a guy. What a guy. So what do you reckon? What do you reckon we do? We do. I reckon we do um, best selfie. Best selfie with Deeks at the Morvan's Classic. Tag Deeks. Tag Ollie, the podcast yeah. on Instagram. What do they win? Um, we can... Okay, I'm just looking around. <laughs> Should we buy a jersey of Deeks for them? An oi jersey. Signed oi oi jersey. Sign, we'll buy, we will purchase an oi oi jersey from Deeks' store. So, so actually... Yeah. Even though, yeah, we are actually giving back to Deeks that way. You'll love Full it. Full retail price. I'm going to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Done. We'll do that, and uh, let me, uh, and we'll do, um, we'll do a nice little uh, sax giveaway with it as well. We do a week's Perfect. worth of sax at the same time. How about that? Sax Best deaconator uses... selfie. I look forward to yeah. it. Yeah. Best deaconator it. selfie at the Malvern's Classics. Send them to the uploader as well if you can, folks. So yeah, tag them on Instagram. But if you can put them in the uploader so we can find it. Um, and we'll play play all the best ones on the next podcast if there is any. Hopefully, there's a few. Hell yeah! Talking of okay. um, guys, it's a bit of a negative turn, but man, I, I uh, it's not. I don't like to. It's, it's not like a fuck. Just just catching up on the um, Afghanistan situation is so shocking, isn't yeah. it? And just and I haven't spoken to Deeks about it, but obviously he's gonna have an angle he oh, spent a lot shit. of time out yeah. there and he lost friends and his friends lost limbs and he had obviously got shot himself out there and just uh oh man oh, yeah. just, I didn't uh, think about know, that I feel so bad for anyone out there and anyone it's affected and it, it kind yeah. of the, the a bad part of it is that it makes you feel so supremely lucky like it's just a luck of the draw that like mm. you know we I got born into a body in England and I could have been born into a body in uh, Afghanistan and had to go through all of that shite so yes yeah, it dude it's 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 tragic it is that and yeah I'd not thought about it like that to be honest you know it's it's fucking shit it's tough at the moment dude let's be honest yeah. I mean just everything that's going on in the world and this Afghan thing the Covid stuff the lockdowns the everything the, div- the diversive di- diversity at the moment and just the general feeling of things are changing quite rapidly is very strange and yeah, it's quite indeed. it's quite upsetting a lot of the time 
to be honest. It's I've never once have I really ever felt like you're part of a game, almost. A game? Oh, it feels like The Sims at the minute. It feels like we're just these people that are just in this thing and there's someone watching above going like, oh, do this to him. Let's see what they do if you do this to him. And then, oh, yeah, let's start a war over here. Let's see what all the little ants do over there. And that's how it feels at the minute. You just feel very oh. detached from everything. But that's just me and probably probably drugs talking at the same time. But it's depressing, dude. And I think we all need to... Um, do our best to focus on what's important at the minute, which is family and community and, you know, doing things that you enjoy because there's not much else going on out there that's yeah. good I mean, to watch. I the, the, the problem with things like this is I love the idea... I, I love the idea of trying to help. Yeah, I'm like, what, mm. what can you do? What can you do? Mate, exactly. I, think... I don't know. I'm too stupid. I don't know what you can do. Can you d- donate to a charity? Yeah. Can we donate to a charity? What the fuck's it going to do it's like yeah anything like that you can't that you can do i think is good but i agree with what you just said like the again rogan did an episode with lex friedman oh, i haven't listened really, to it yet I'm, okay. really smart guy and he said the same thing you know they were talking about afghanistan and lex friedman just went well what can we do all what can we do like what what do you do as, a, as like as an america as america i guess like what do we do do we have a presence in all of these countries do we have a presence in north korea do we you know do we go into there do we go into china do we do this do we when does it stop like yeah it, it's it's tragic you know but i don't know man yeah. I, I i do try and avoid this stuff a lot if i'm honest because there's that fine balance right of knowing knowing what's going on but again focusing on your immediate circle like you you know your family your community your friends yourself most importantly i think and it's very easy to get caught up in and anxious about all this other stuff in the world but like you said you can't do much about and if there is something you think you can do do that because it's probably going to make you feel a little bit better you know if if you're going to go and it's little things in it i guess i'm not going not going to sound preachy but if you've got a spare 10 15 quid just whatever or whatever amount of money that you think is going to help that yeah it's that that you know and it's a shame it all comes down to money actually that's really shit yeah but that's what it is isn't it it all comes down to money it's it's the a lot of the afghan stuff was all money it was all opiates it was poppy fields it was heroin it was you know it was drugs oil oil it's 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 mega mega difficult isn't it because it's such a i mean dude to be honest everything thing that happens make highlights the fact that i wouldn't want to be in power i have no solutions for for anything yeah in the current like currently i have zero even suggestions that, that don't have giant negatives. You know, I, I just yeah. don't understand how you can... And what motivates people to want to be in power? I guess it's change and they want to do a good job. Yeah. I think, I'd think like to think largely that is why people... Yeah, it does make... Yeah, I don't know. Like, especially with the Afghan thing, like, what's that about? What's, what's you know, Sharia law about? What's what's it for? Like, what what's the ultimate goal there? I don't know. I what, really of genuinely... Sharia law? Yeah, like, why all the killing and the... What is like? What is that? I don't know. I'm too stupid strict, to understand it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm too stupid as well. But from what I understand, it's a strict interpret- interpretation of elements of the Quran. I mean, like any religion, you get like extreme ends of it, and it's mm. that's what it is. And and it's very difficult to it's very difficult to actually. You, you can't. I don't really feel like I can criticize it. I don't f- follow these. Mm. I, I don't have to follow any rules. I'm free to just do what I think is good and what I think is right. Whereas yeah. I, I can't say that it's wrong to, you know, um, read the Quran or, you know, think, things like that. And, and there's so many peaceful Muslim countries. It's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it just yeah. doesn't make any sense to me. I don't, and I don't, it, it makes you wonder what, what it is that creates that kind of extreme interpretation. Like, is it imbalance? Is it like constantly feeling like, you know, I, 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 I don't know what it is. I don't know what it it's is. Just, it's interesting to think that at some point, you know, all these people that think these these thoughts and that have this viewpoint and that are happy to throw acid on kids that are going to school, I've seen that, and, you know, you, all these horrible things killing people. At some point, we're just a... They were just a nothing. That All that stuff's been programmed in. You're not born mm. like that, are you? You're not born thinking that stuff or no. you're not born with that, you know, that ideology. At some point, it's all just programmed in and like you said we've been programmed in with what we are which is 
riding bikes and having fun and they're yeah. programmed in with killing and power it's, it's Which it, but yeah fucking... yeah absolutely like it's a product of um luxury to have you, you know i i appreciate I'm, I'm, i've come from a place where i don't have to worry the whole time and, and i think you do just you are just a product of your environment so mm. yes yeah, it's, it's very very easy for me to feel as though i'm morally on the right track because i've had such a you know, yeah. such a nice life. That's what you're I'm not programmed saying, to do. You know, when, when you put it in the in the scheme of things, it's you know I've been and and yourself, we've been blessed to like be born mm. into bodies in a country that's stable. Yeah. Like even just that yeah. that alone, that's stable, or, or just to have parents that look after stable you. Stable like, family. Like you can't tell yeah. what you would have been like if you didn't have that, and if you were born to another place. So it's it's fucking hard to like. I can't really like criticize. I don't. The, the older I get, the less I fucking think I know. I don't know. I literally don't know. I don't know what I'd yeah. be like, whether I'd be a warlord if I had grown up in Afghanistan or if I'd... I, I mm. have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, it is interesting, man. It's Yeah, I mean, I'd love to be smarter. That's what I'd, I'd like to say as well. I'd love well. to understand it better. I'd love to be mm. able to understand how it's happened, why it's happened, what the what the actual roadmap looks like looks like yeah. to sorting it out because looking at it from the outside at the moment and again this is watching mainstream media this is you know whatever it's watching the news and stuff i guess in little bits you, you get well how do you how do you sort this out like what what do you do other yeah. than going in and more war more destruction more killing there's no yeah there's no sitting down at a table is there it, isn't it it's that it's that kind of storming in and like fucking you, you know imposing your you can't just tell someone how to live life but particularly yeah. not now I, I think for years it's gone on and it's ca- caused shit all yeah. over the place and you can't do it anymore because no one's above anyone if you, you it's bollocks isn't it we're all just fucking mm. hairless apes it's it bollocks to just cruise over there yeah. but but where i get tongue-tied almost is because i'm like it's bollocks to go and tell someone how to live life but equally don't <laughs> do some of the shit that you do you know <laughs> let's not stone people you know for instance yeah. like i, I can yeah. but then maybe but, but maybe i'm talking from my perspective i oh, fuck knows dude can't even yeah. comment on it even i don't even know i don't no. know what the answers are but i'm really sorry for anyone who's uh yeah dude really sorry for anyone no doubt we've got listeners who have been involved in that stuff and sorry for you all like really yeah. you know it, it's yeah, I hope everyone's all right Can't out there. Fucking make but yeah, thanks for bringing it up, Jesus. mate. Was it the negativity no. episode or what? We're just following up the positivity episode with the negativity episode. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, man. Really appreciate Davies it. Davies on opiates and Afghanistan's <laughs> falling apart. Fuck. <laughs> it's good to talk about those things, though. I, I don't know. No, I is. just think it's... it's um, anything that starts discussion and thoughts, I think, is good. You know. Yeah, and just ignoring no, it's yeah. not good, dude. It's not good to fucking ignore it. It doesn't do anyone justice that's over there having a shit time as well. Like, I feel for him. I, I wish there was... I wish I knew what you could do. And anyone who's got any suggestions, then... Yeah. I'll tell you what, I've been... Uh, it's a sort of nice segue. Did you ever watch that Netflix show with uh, Zac Efron? And I think it's called Darren O'Lean. They did a Netflix show and they went... Him and Zac Efron, they went around the world and they looked at um, stuff like water production or they went into the rainforest. No, I, I did, looked- no. Really good. This guy, Darren O'Lean, is amazing. He's like a, I think on paper, his job's like a superfood hunter. He's really into health and nutrition and stuff. Right. And um, he's got a podcast, Darren O'Lean Show, which I stumbled upon and listened to a few episodes. And I, I just found this interesting. Again, it's not a great segue, but I just found this super interesting. So he's got this podcast and he's got like a sub sort of series in there called Fatal Conveniences. Yeah, Fatal Conveniences. And I just find this shit so interesting because he looks at stuff that we use so we don't even think about it. It's just a convenient thing for us to use and how yeah. how sort of devastating and how that, yeah, basically how bad it can be for your health, right? So the, the last one I listened to was about candles and I'd never thought about candles ever. I like candles. I love them. I love a candle on in the house. Love it smells candles. And love candles. You know, they're nice, aren't they? But this guy, Darwin, he'll go in and he like breaks down. Okay, what is it? What is a candle? Okay, basically it's paraffin. You're literally built burning paraffin in your house. Would you just go into your house and light petrol? A bucket of petrol. No, you wouldn't, right? 
Dude, it's so interesting. Well, yeah, and then he, interesting. And then they were talking about like the perfume that's in a lot of candles and how most of the perfume scents that are in a candle are not authorized by any governing body. They just there's like sixty thousand of these scents that go, come to market every year, and the governing bodies can't approve them quick enough. So they just go, yeah, go for it. So a lot of them are super harmful to us, and we're there just like, oh, oh yes, is nice, yeah. And also in a wick, candle wick, a lot of candle wicks have got lead in them. And again, you'd never burn lead in your house, knowingly, would you? You wouldn't be like, oh, I'm going to light a bit of lead over there. No, it's Pre- true. Crazy, dude. Really interesting. Yeah, that is cool. Super interesting so if anyone's into that again? stuff. Uh, Darren O'Lean. It's just the Darren O'Lean show. Uh, yeah, he's done a bunch of them, man. I've done like, a few really interesting ones, looking at deodorants and oh, really? stuff like that. Just stuff that you don't even think about. I find I find that shit fascinating. Yeah, I'm definitely, quite into yeah health and fitness and, and whatnot, especially at the moment, having no health or fitness, I'm quite interested in it. I think I want to, yeah, not to turn this back to talk about injuries, but I'm pretty keen at the moment to, to get back to being healthy and yeah. I'm not looking good at the moment. I took my shirt off in front of the physio yesterday and apologised and he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, dude, I've looked like shit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and he was like, it's okay. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, you're all right. I'm like, mate, I've put weight on. Think about yeah, I'm working those services. You just think, dude, don't have shit. But yeah, I'm, I was, I look and feel like shit. So I'm looking forward to it at the moment, getting back on that path of, yeah, getting myself a schedule to get healthy again. You know, even if it's just stretching and a little bit of walking, I'm taking it pretty seriously. Yeah, I'm gonna take it pretty seriously, and I'm sweating so bad at the moment that. I honestly, I'm really sorry for anyone watching this on YouTube who can probably see sweat dripping down me. It's, it's disgusting. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, people at work okay. in those. Did, did I ever tell you about the, you know, the staff, inf- the staff swabs that you have to do by your nuts before an operation? You ever had one of them? No, I don't think I had I a very have. awkward situation. I was in a small, uh, a small curtained area, cordoned off area in the hospital, and it was before, I don't know what I was going in for a surgery on realistically my ankle or something and Mm. um i had a uh male filipino nurse who was um uh hey i'm not maybe he wasn't gay but i'm pretty sure you know anyway he's asked me in like sort of broken english if he can swab my nuts my genitalia he said so i was just like I don't know what this is for. What it means is a very small room. I'm not used to this. So he's asked me and I'm like, obviously, yeah, you can. You need to do it for staff so for staff purposes, staff infection. Purposes, so staff right? infection. Yeah, so they right. check you for staff infection because it's like, I, I actually don't know what happens if you do have staff infection, but, but I think it's like super contagious or it can spread around. Yeah, I think it, it's a jujitsu thing a lot. Staff yeah, infection in, gets indeed. passed yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. So they swab for that for form of this Staphylococcus, I think it's called. So it's just like a type of whatever. So I didn't know what to what he meant or what you know what I mean. Like your genitals is such a broad. Like I need and I asked him three times. You know, like the, the asking three times rule. And then after the third, you're just like like if you if you say pardon three times. Yeah. <laughs> and after the well, third, you get you're louder like, and louder as you. Yeah, and after the third, you're just like, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I like I fucking literally can't understand what you're saying. So yeah, I guess, you know. So I had the same thing, yeah, dude. and I'm like, so what? What do you want to swab again? Because I'm hoping he's not going to put it down my dick hole. I'm going to be honest, you know, because that's mm, fucking shocking. Um, yeah, that's the worst. And, he, and every time he's like, I'm not going to do the voice. I want to do the voice. I'm not going to do the voice. But you no. can picture what the voice is like. It's, yeah. a, it's a very camp voice. And he said, my genit, your genitals. I nearly did the voice. He said, your genitals, all right? So, yeah. so in the end, I was just like, what's the, po- like, what's the point? He's asking to do it. Like, he wants to do it. I don't, yeah. He's not giving me enough information. So just trousers and pants came down. And he literally just needs to go, he just needs to touch the cotton bud on your balls, and that's it. So it would have been really easy to do it in a much more dignified manner. But instead, I'm just there on the balls, pants. and he's down on his knees as well, and he's just oh mate, it's getting worse. It so was, he just it was took... worse. It was it was one of the worst, and I felt so you know I'm not used to that stuff. And your cock and balls Close just went <laughs> yeah exactly just, yeah. I probably and went, you're like I probably said sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, no, like me and the physio, like it usually looks a bit better than this. I'm really yeah. sorry. 
I know it's I way wanted bigger. to say, look, dude, I'm, you know, give me a chance to warm up. Come on, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just leave the room a bit. Wow. We'll do some windmills and then you can come back in. <laughs> yeah, that's my, uh, that, it's sort of like a lost in translation story. I always think they're so funny. That, like shit like that's so funny. Yeah, Poor bloody good. nurse. It's just like, you know, he just doesn't some have job. the language tools to just go, look, dude. Let me just put it down the side of your balls. You don't have to get everything out. It doesn't have to be around your ankles. <laughs> it makes me think, I wonder if he's like misinterpreted what they've told him as well. And he didn't need to do it really at all. But yeah, he's, I wonder. There's been a language mistake. Yeah, and really, he's just out there. Just, armpit or... He's just like, out there hustling, trying to see as tongue. many dicks and balls as he possibly can. Yeah, they meant tongue, but he got genitals <laughs> yeah. sort of muddled up. <laughs> and they're testing they it, it just like what it, is this <laughs> where are you nose. getting it from they do it in your nose and your nuts really I wonder yeah. why maybe wow. someone's maybe one of the listeners is going to be like yeah they never do it on your nuts and I just got played by a smart guy <laughs> they never do it on your nuts they never film it <laughs> <laughs> yeah he was live streaming it it was a fucking pretty weird experience to be honest he had a strobe light in there music playing <laughs> Hey, do you know how annoying wow. it is. It, 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 it would have made it so much more funny, that story, if I could have done the voice. But not to worry. Let's move on. Moving on. Fat, it's a good segue, though. If you wanted to do the, uh, hey. the nuts. It's a, right. Should we do on count of three? Who are we, yeah. who are we doing our read for today? One, okay, two, three. Do. Manscaped. Manscaped. Dude, I'm hyped for this. I'm actually really excited because I have enjoyed listening to ad reads from this company for a long long time and the fact that they reached out was an absolute privilege and i'm really excited to be hopefully fingers crossed working with manscaped too because, right. uh, and, yeah and do you again, know what dude? love products that are um, helpful to people dude and, and, and the, the thing is the thing is davy dude you you look after your bike don't you you take oh, yeah. your bike back you clean it you make sure it's spick and span good condition lubed up ready to go right for the oh, next yeah. time you ride it. Yep, looped up, smelling good, the so, whole thing. So, so why don't you do that for your balls? Exactly, dude. And that's something that, I mean, it's a, it's a question that, it's a legit question, dude, I'll be honest with you. Why don't you? Um, I mean, I do, personally. I have done for quite a while. I do look after it down there. Do you? You keep things spick and span? W- yep, yeah, but with a traditional razor, it can... Be a mess at the end of shaving that junk. Sometimes there can be blood too involved. Patchy. patchy. You're nervous because you don't go too close to the sack, basically. Yeah. So yeah. It, it can be a nightmare. But thankfully, there is a company out there that have got it sorted. They've come up with the technology to make sure you don't nick your nuts. Someone's uh, out and that us, you know that company is Manscaped. And I was also thinking about this. You don't see swimmers walk into the platform to jump in to do a swimming race with spider's legs. You, you don't, don't see it, dude. Dude, you don't. No, you, no. and that is the... I mean, no doubt it's World Champs coming up this weekend. You know, you're not going to see... I, I'm going to guess there's not many athletes going to the starting ramp with hair around that region because you got to you got to stay Fast. streamlined. Exactly. Big time, exactly. dude. Big time. Yeah, exactly. stoked to have them on board, really. They yeah, dude, for such sure. A wide range of products too. Yep. So I've got uh, th- for anyone who didn't guess, that's what the uh, that's what the uh, sound was, which is this sound. We've got huh? harmony. Look at now. us, aren't we? A little little, little uh, groom up. So Manscaped, folks, Manscaped, only just come to the UK, which is really cool. Um, they've gone through all the amazing podcasts in the UK and, and obviously chose the best ones to get involved with. Exactly. Yes, they were going to go with some of the really big ones, some of the BBC shows and stuff like that. But no, they didn't choose any of that shit. No. They chose this podcast, knowing that we would do such a great job of this ad read and knowing that you guys would love to treat yourself to a new nut shaver. Yeah, we're so, a couple of Manscaped... one, two guys that take care of our nuts. That's Dude, what it is. I mean... You can tell, right, from yeah. looking at the live for the video and stuff and how we present ourselves, mm. we look after that bit. So, Manscaped's just come to the UK um, and they've just launched their new Lawnmower 4.0 package. And we've got one right here. It comes like this, shipped to your door, as you can see. 
your balls will thank you. Uh, and in this little box, you get a nice pair of Manscaped boxer shorts, which is really sick. Yeah. You get the Crop Reviver, which... Yeah. Did I wear this to the physio last night as aftershave? I can't yeah, I believe did. you didn't. You, and you still said sorry. You didn't need to. Already the physio yeah. knew. I wish it smelled amazing. I'd, I wish Manscaped had existed <laughs> I actually did when I went for my staph infection. <laughs> you know, I wish, like it's moments like that that you just think. Mm. I actually did wear it like on my neck like that, did like you? aftershave. It smells have... amazing, dude. The crop reviver smells good. So that's ball toner. And then you've got the ball deodorant as well comes in this package. The ball deodorant keeps that thing looking and smelling fantastic. Yeah, and you also get right. this. A nice little carry pack, which is really nice. Yep, for travel um, purposes when you need to. Travel purposes. Yeah. And obviously you get the Manscaped 4.0. Um, and let me just hit you with some stats, dude, because if there's one Please. thing I enjoy I was actually going to ask you, do you have any stats? stats? Yeah. Bro, I love stats. I know, you I know. know if there's what. one thing I enjoy, it's mountain bike stats about, like, geometry, Yeah. you know, bike tech. Yeah, the other thing I enjoy sizes. researching is, yeah, rotor sizes is... Um, Stats about shavers. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe TM trademarked technology. The lawnmower 4.0 oh, lawnmower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor. Bro, you could probably ride this thing like a jet ski. If you put this in the water and sat on it, I reckon this thing would probably take you to the Isle of Wight probably faster go than yours did. Than mine, yeah. Yeah, a new multifunction on/off switch can engage a travel lock and gives you the ability to turn the 400k LED. Actually, I'll eat that's 4,000k LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave. And it's waterproof too, so you can even do it in the bath it's or shower. Not. It is bloody it? is, mate. Yeah, I mean they've just launched in the UK. It's got to be waterproof. Cause it always rains here, doesn't it? So, dude, it literally you know what I mean? couldn't get any better than this. Life is good. Wait, exactly. Is it worth mentioning the weed whacker as well? Because you can get that. You know, I, I suffer from that nose, nose hair, and the ear hair. And the weed whacker, it. that's what I use to uh, yep. keep those things at bay as well. Yep. So the weed whacker is also waterproof and uses a 9,000 RPM motor powered by a 360 degree rotary dual blade system. Dude. Nose and hair trimmer provides propri- proprietary skin safe TM technology which helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate areas. Incredible. Davey, where do we head? Manscaped.com. You can get 20% off no. and free shipping. And free shipping. They'll even ship it to you for free. For free. Someone will bring it to your house for free. Insane. Uh, just use code RIDECOMPANION at manscaped.com. Like I said, that's 20% off. And you'll also get free shipping as well. Your balls have been through enough this year, folks. Treat them with the best tools for the job. Absolutely. Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Manscaped.com. We'll do a little uh, catch up on that at the end. But dude, I'm hyped. I'm excited. And obviously, guys, I appreciate everyone out there uh, who helps support the podcast by getting involved with any of these companies. It actually means a lot and it does help keep the lights on because it'd be shit doing this in the dark <clears throat> wouldn't it too right too right and i, mean, I like shit as it is so shit the right tools for the job so yeah i think so too mate and it smells nice in here now really nice i mean i was sweating i don't know why i didn't turn to that before <laughs> oh dear what's up next have we got know. some um should, should we do what okay i'm gonna i'm gonna just butt straight in with what i've been watching my little oh, uh, beautiful so brian foster was one of my um heroes as a kid and fit life fit BMX have just done a Fit Life documentary. So it's Brian Foster oh, wow. Fit Life or something. It, it, it follows the life of the legend Brian Foster. Cool. Into that. YouTube, is it? YouTube indeed. Isn't it cool that things are just on YouTube? Like anyone can watch that, like that right now. Not VHS. It's crazy, not isn't it? Nothing. You just literally just go on there, type it in. It's there. Incredible. It's crazy, isn't it? When you really think about it. It's just there, isn't it? Like you just go watch it. Yeah, it is it's nuts. cool. What have you been yeah. watching? Because I actually been... really value your watches because you're not normally mm-hmm. a watchy, watchy guy, whereas now you're swatchy. So it's, I, I like Very watchy. Yeah. I have discovered for the first time uh, people just do nothing. The B 
BBC series, comedy oh, series. Oh, I have heard of it. Yeah, okay. It's, it's about the guys that are sort of uh, garage MCs and they've got like a band and not a band. I don't know what they are. They're MCs and they're trying to make it. And it's, I knew it was funny because I watched one before years and years ago. And uh, they've got a movie coming out. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to check this out and actually try and watch it. And it's really easy to watch because they're only half an hour. And there's only four episodes in a series. So you can blast through it Sick. super quick. If, if all you do is sit on the sofa, like me, you can get through it pretty quick. And dude, I have been howling with laughter. Oh, wicked. And, uh, that's what you need. And that's, that's nice. That's what you need. It's so. broken ribs, isn't it? Howling with yeah. laughter. What does howling yeah, with laughter exactly. look like these days, dude? You got your laugh back? <laughs> It's, it's it's okay it's all right it's not comfortable but it's okay it's good to have yeah, it back it's... in some form at least yeah it's nice to be able to laugh a little bit dude i actually have one more suggestion for you and it's a Ooh. israeli drama i love how it's sort of like nowadays it's way more normal to just have like dramas from all over the world so like you'll be watching like a scandy crime drama and then a you know what I mean? Mm. So so I've yeah. been watching one called Hit and Run. It's on Netflix and it's Israeli and it's uh, thoroughly entertaining. Wow. And it's, uh, is it in English or do you have to read it? No, it's like dubbed, which is which can be quite uh, off-putting, but I like it still. I like it. Really? Yeah, it's good. Fair play, dude, for pressing play on that because I'll be honest, I wouldn't. Wouldn't you? But no. Fair, no, fair play to you, man, because you took a chance there, didn't you? I did and it's paid off. It's and how did like, you know about it? It's not very it? complicated. It's like a, yeah, it's, it's like a, you know, like easy watching series. I quite like, I like those every now and then, you know? Yeah. Not really too much okay. of a thinker, but. Okay, I like it. I All like right. those ones I like, right? And I'll tell you what I do. So I watch My mum will appreciate this one, you know, I can feel yeah, it now. I feel I can like, feel... Yeah, I, I feel like she might. Yeah. So I, um, yeah. what I do is I, tr- every plot twist, I try and call it out. Which I'm sure is great fun for George. George is the opposite. She's like someone who likes to read like the back of a DVD before watching it. It's really important for her to know what it's about. Whereas I don't. Right. I just watch it without knowing what it's about. And then I try wow. and call out the moments. You know, like, fuck no, it's yeah. him. He did it. Or whatever. Right. So are you one of those guys that would just pick up a book and start reading? Yeah. Without knowing what it is? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Wow. Because I just think if someone's put the effort into 200 pages, it's going to be... Someone found it interesting, so I can too. That's my thoughts. How good. That's very open and... Uh, yeah, I like that. I've never... Yeah. You see, I'm really... I'm like George then, so I'll be like, what's this? And I'll... Before I hit and play on a movie, Do you? we'll be like, right, let's read some reviews. Let's see what yeah, it is. Let's see who's in yeah. it. See, that's how you find Israeli dramas and stuff. You just hit play and see what the what it is. See if it catches you. Wow. I've got to say, if it doesn't yeah. get me quite quickly or if there's not like a character in it that's interesting, I'm out quite quickly as well. Really, but yeah, yeah. I, uh, I I feel like That's you can right sort good. of tell when something's of a certain quality. You know, like some of these drama series are so like they're they're so fucking good these days because essentially, I guess a lot of people have moved from movies. Like what they want you for mm. now nowadays isn't a movie. They want they want to make money off a series, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. I'd imagine for sure. Yeah, you're right. No, it's good. I like that, mate. Good on you. What about um, have you been, have you got a listening one that we can throw throw into the mix? Shit, how can I how can I be how can this right. creep up on me every single time like this? Can I? I'll jump in if you want while Please you search. Because mine mine's very for listening and a watching, to be honest. Okay. Um, and I watched and listened to the live set from Lollapalooza, which is a music festival in America. It was in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, by Limp Biscuit. And it was sick, and I am not bothered if anyone thinks what a dick for watching that. Lip biscuit, what, Lip dude, biscuit? so sick. No one's gonna oh, think mate, you're a you, dick for that, are they? Have you seen Fred Durst recently? No, mate. What's he up to? So funny. He's gone for the uh, the dad look. So he's got what like a you... wig that he wears, dude. It's well, worth a Google actually, to see how he's he dressing. Actually, has gone for that look. That's actually yeah. Funny. It's hilarious, dude. It's hilarious. Really? He's gone for the dad, but the like the dad look. He wears like really short trousers, trainers, like like a oh mate, you gotta see it. It's got like being really dad is a look. Yeah, and it's funny. <laughs> so yeah, they did a set at Lollapalooza, played all the classics. He was dressed like someone's dad, and <laughs> I just got a lot of time for it. I think it's sick. You know, it, Limp Biscuit was a big turning point in my life. Oh well, discovering good. discovering metal and or whatever it is, whatever sort of music it is. 
rap metal or whatever. No, so remember, yeah, I've got a lot of time. I it. He had a, he used to have and Limp Biscuit have got a new. Uh, that was his thing. Yeah. Before it yeah. became a MAGA cab, he. Yes. Ran it, he? Yeah. He sort of, the OG. He was the OG really, red really. hat. Yeah. Yeah. So they've got a new album coming out as well soon. So that's pretty cool. Have they really? And, uh, I can't imagine what it'd be like being those guys just just playing rolling roll it. What was it called? Rolling. 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 Yeah, I, they did I rolling. I turned it to roll yeah. it, roll it, didn't I? That would make. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sound warper come through with the roll Dude, it roll then, it soundtrack and, and then honestly i turned it into i like to roll it roll it all in the <laughs> same the same fucking loop <laughs> there you go oh dear yeah anyway you gotta see him dude you honestly i will i'll look him look up i'll look him up i'm still looking for a uh, i'm still looking for a, a song through my thingy okay, okay. bamako <laughs> that make it awkward don't i Bamako yeah, you do, because the last one that you chose wasn't actually on Spotify. Oh, classic, eh? Because it was that cool. What a knob. Right, well, I'll... I'll um, Bamako, I'm just going to okay. take a picture of it for you, and then that's easier, isn't it? The, the song's not called Divoli and Marquard, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is! Is it? Yeah, there yeah. it is on Spotify, folks. It's straight into the playlist. Featuring Amadou Search and Marion. There you go. Marianne. Yeah, I got it. Okay, nice. Perfect. That worked right. nicely. Yeah, Seamless. It's in the playlist already. Well oiled while machines. You're on, while you're on Spotify, if anyone wants something else to listen to, just random. Um, Bruce Springsteen and Barack Obama have got a podcast together, and it's amazing. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, really good. Are they really, doing really manscape shit or what? Huh? Are they doing manscape shit? Because between those two, I bet they've got some not thick, not big enough bushes. You know? Yeah, podcast isn't big enough though. Ah, there you go. There you go. What can you do? Yeah. Yeah, they only come to people like us. Uh, but yeah, it's good. Worth listening to. I mean, I yeah, can't really tell you what it's about because I can't really remember, but it is good. Clearly memorable. That's the problem with being on a lot of pain pills. You forget a lot of shit. Do you? Yeah. I was nervous about this today. Well, yeah. Because I, I'm not doing anything, dude. I don't do anything. I'm just sat about. Like, and I'm like, what am I going to even talk about? Like, there's literally... I've not like done anything. I've not been down, anywhere. <laughs> I baked flapjacks today. <laughs> I'd like to listen back to some of those shitters. Like when you're actually just stuck in your flat, it's so weird, isn't it? Oh, like around like episode about. ten when it was like deep lockdowns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might, I might like around then, back, start, yeah, it'll be interesting. Started getting in the flow a little bit and figuring out what it was and like what did we actually talk about? Yeah, I've, I've not a clue. All I did was this go episode, cross country rides and dig tra- like <laughs> dig my own. Well, just film yourself riding bikes. Yeah, um, all right, we've got a few um, few listener questions. I'm just going to rearrange my shorts real quick because if you think I'm sweating up top, the bottom's bad. I'll be honest with you, and my shorts have gone really tight. There you go. Gonna... Right, let's have a rearrange. I'll not. Let's have I'll a not rearrange. You. Don't you worry, mate. We're only recording a podcast. You, you just rearrange your nuts. <laughs> Should have had a spray up, shouldn't I? Really. Uh, Okay, let's see what we've got here. So we've got a, a listener. Ooh, let's do where people are listening first. Then we've got a listener question. We'll do a few yes, more of those I love after. where people are listening. Okay. First up, this is cool, man. This could be one of the best ones we've ever had. Really? How about this? That's where that dude listens. No. He's working how on sick. Lewis's car. Yes, I believe so. Um, is that Hamilton's I... car or is that Bottas' car? Wicked. Do you want to see it again or are you okay? Yeah, I'd like, can we see it again? Let's see it again. Yeah, we see it again. See I actually again. went to Mercedes Benz World yesterday, and I looked Did at you? some Formula One cars. There you go, mate. We should have. Maybe this is where this oh, guy. Is that no? Lives, he's in Milton works. Keynes, I think, isn't he? Oh, and is it? At, at Interesting. The proper, the proper HQ is up up that way, I think. Yeah. So well, full disclosure on this, because I've I've screwed up a little bit with our uploader. I put in a segment where you could give us some context because this guy, bless him, he's come in, he's left a photo. Don't know who it is. We don't know. Does he work there? Is he just there for a day out? So uh, it's my fault. I put the thing there, but I didn't actually make it so a text box that people could. Him. Yeah, I know the name was um, the guy's name. Well, again, the guy put his name down as Jay Rogan. So his name actually is Joe Rogan or Jay Rogan. Or he's just Rogan. having a bit of a laugh no, with us. I don't Joe know. Rogan. The thing is, maybe Joe Rogan was visiting Mercedes Benz and he was listening to the podcast. Yeah, maybe Manscaped tipped him off for how to do the read for them. 
Could be, and he was dude. Like, could be. Wanted to be in on it before. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. Apologies for that, folks. Um, I've changed. I'm gonna change it so you can actually leave a little bit of a like. This is where I am. This is what I do. Leave your name. But the guy's name, yeah, Jay Rogan. So thank there you anyway. Um, this one we got. This one came through. This is a uh, Mark Bell, and he is part of the. Where's that, Ollie? That is Scotland. Good shout. That's Fort William. Fort William, is it? Yeah. So he, Wow, yeah, so look at he's that. He's been helping out and he was listening to the podcast while doing some trail meetings. Wicked, working hard. On Nevis Range. Really cool. Amazing. Really, really sick. So that's Mark. Nice one, Mark. Then last one, last one is this one. So this is Martin, Martin Frith. And there he is, chilling. It's like down Labrador. in front, dude. Down in front. What's his name? Not oh, Martin. I can't quite see it. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> I think it's Ollie. Is the dog, not a dog, dog's name. I don't know. Ollie. Get out of the way, Ollie. Yeah, I think it's watch Ollie. Ollie. So yeah, it's cool. Apologies, guys, again. You can't leave any um, information. So it's a, it's a bit of a stab in the dark <laughs> for me as well because I just look at it. I'm like, that's kind of cool, but I don't know who it is yeah, or what it, also, what it is. Also, don't be afraid to give us videos because I really enjoy like, the um, videos. Video yeah. questions, okay. video anything. Just stick them in the uploader. St- please. Speaking of videos, here we go. Here we go. Coming up. Hello from Morzine Hackett Podcast. Just who do you think's gonna win or your predictions for the world champs of Valdesol? Coming in from Sunny Morzine. Thank you. Okay, did you get that? Because it was a little bit stuttery at my side. It was stuttery mine as well. But yeah. I get that who, who's this guy? What's this what's this guy's name? So this is da, 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 at Deadpool Two E on Instagram. So Deadpool Two E is having a lovely time in Morsi by the looks of things. Yeah, and he wants no Great predictions for Val Sol, which is actually something really. As two guys that do a mountain bike podcast, we probably should have kind of covered <laughs> approximately, seeing as the World Championships are coming up and they're very exciting. Gee, I'm yes. fucking bad, dude. Because as soon as the like. As soon as my my close friends are out, I've not got as right. much of a horse in the race, you know, so I don't pay as much. Mm. BK's out there, though. BK's out there, and hopefully he's racing, but it's still up in the air, you know. It's still like, right. you know, he doesn't know how good his hand is. I don't know how much he's ridden. But it's a great yeah. question. I'm going to go in yeah. with, um, you can't bet against the Frenchies. Really? No, I think you? it's it's difficult at the moment to bet against the Frenchies, isn't yeah. it? Really difficult. Loic, obviously on fire. Yeah. Um, mate, I mean, geez, let me have a quick look. I got it up here, actually, just to see who's on the team. You've got Benoit, uh, I don't know how to say Coulanges. his last name, Coulanges. Yeah. Coulanges. You've got Thibault de Prella. I mean, uh, obviously, Loris is killing it at the minute. Yeah. It's difficult to bet against the Frenchies. But we are going in there as reigning champs, bro. We're going in there as reigning champs Dude, with Reese Wilson. Very so we true. are it's very in true. there. Yeah. I, um, we are in the race. I'm going to put out one that oh, obviously I'd like Bernard to win. Or any number of my English friends. Or just friends in general. But I actually weirdly would love Troy Brosnan to win. Because Troy, I think, Ooh, is just. Nice. You know what I mean? I think he's just done enough years in the trenches. Give the boy some stripes. Something. You know, he's he's, he's Mr. Third Place, isn't he, Troy? He's done yeah. such consistent, sharp end results. It'd be cool to see. That's, Maybe someone that's really a bit fair. Yeah. I, I'm with you. I like it when, especially with this sort of race, someone comes out that you're not expecting. I think something like Martin Mays. You know, Re- you never Re- know. The yeah, guy shows up oh, and just goes hard. Yeah, yeah did, just a total like. Uh, he did Maribor on a one sixty. Yes, right. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I would like did. to know why. True. Yeah, why? It, I make a, a good point. Of downhill don't I? bikes. Yeah. Mm. Why'd you, you do didn't. that? Because the bumps are bigger than one hundred and sixty millimeters. So. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you... Yeah, that is interesting. I wonder why I, I did that. I, yeah, Does anyone I have any insights? Leave them below. Yeah, dude, right. imagine like someone like Brooke, Brooke McDonald well, coming in and winning world champs. Just about Brooke, that'd be sick, wouldn't it? Laurie. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, dude, to be so honest, many. It's, it's it's so exciting, isn't it? What a sport. Actually, excited for world champs. Equally, I'd love to see the goat. Yeah. How cool yeah. would that be? Dude, so many people like 
it's good, isn't it? It's a cool sport for that. There's a lot of people that could and should win it. Absolutely, yeah. We should do a full episode next week and talk about it. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see if we remember, eh? Let's see. If Rather we than remember. just gla- just gloss over it. <laughs> <laughs> the world. Yeah, it's uh, apologies for that, folks. Yeah, and obviously, sorry. we've only talked about um, the men. So, last year's oh, world true, champ. Yeah. Uh, who's last year's world champ? Women. Last year's world... Camille. Camille Belange. Belange, yes, of course. So Camille Belange. Absolutely. Mate, I, you know what? You know what? I what is what's an issue for me, right? And I don't know if anyone else has this, but I I struggle for remembering races, I race do. results. I'm I'm not that guy, you know. I'm not a Rob Warner guy. I'm not a you know. I no doubt Warner could sit here and he'd be like, "Remember this from last yeah. year," and you'd be like, "Oh yeah, I remembered that." But no, I it's won't. Terrible. I'm, I'm think of it. I was actually struggling to remember who won at Maribor. Just whilst you were yeah. talking about that, I was like shit i actually can't remember and i can't remember the podium mm. either and it's such a i've just not got that brain either so that's two people no. with no brains that can't remember any results i'm with you i'm with you mate uh, again but women valley valley hall would be cool to see win i think she probably deserves yeah that would be cool actually, wouldn't it? that'd be really sick yeah I mean, that, yeah that'd be fucking insane being her age having a red bull helmet and stripes on mm. your arm that would be insane mm. oh yeah that would be cool. Uh, and Tarni, obviously. So, yeah, we'll see. Tarni, we'll, obviously, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Like, yeah, again, I'm looking forward to it there, mate. Not to not to actually gloss over it. It is World Champs. It is arguably like the, one of the biggest events of the year. And I kind of forgot. I wouldn't say I forgot about it, but it was just like, oh, yeah, that's happening. That's cool. I know, but, um, eh? I know. Sport for choice yeah. now. I've got too many videos to watch. Got Israeli dramas yeah. to watch now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well I'm going to be tuning in anyway it'll be right. good to get some conversations going if anyone's got any tips or uh, any um, sort of I don't know anything about World Champs just start a conversation in the comments section below like why not let's see if we can get any um, what, not tips what they're called um, tip offs people... tip offs like, like yeah. at the horse races yeah anyone who who do you think is going to win I've Leave always it in thought that would be a sick thing to do like a um, mountain bike gambling website oh it would like an app you just put money on yeah. people yeah, and it doesn't exist, does it? Change constantly through the race. They did it with Speedwave, with Sky Sports for a little while. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, it was quite. It was a weird one though because I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I think there was a lot of like not insider stuff going on. But Speedway was quite an obvious one for a lot of people. I think you could sit there and be like, "Well, he's going to win this," and but the odds were always really weird. They were quite favourable if that makes sense. So you could actually make a ton of money off it. I oh, really, If yeah. you understood, if you understood at all, I think other stuff seems a little bit more difficult and maybe I'm off on that, but yeah, I mean, any I of my it's really hard to explain. I've literally given zero predictions. I've just given hopes. Yeah. So actually it'd be very difficult to bet on anyone, wouldn't it? Like that's, the, so if you were a betting man, who are you going with? Like in mountain biking in general, it's so fucking hard. For world champs, yeah. It's so hard. There's so many variables, and like, I guess maybe there's not at the at the top end. I guess it tends to be the same top ten, doesn't it? Approximately. Mm. Dude, but you know that, you know the odds. If you want to win money, you're gonna have to go for an outsider. Yeah, you're right. So if you if you're a betting man, who are you going for? Hmm. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. F- uh, Loris, you know. Oh, okay. All right. I like I'll that. That's Loris. good. I'd go. I'd go Danny Hart at the moment. Oh, sick. See, I even forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck so you yeah, want to think about as well? Yeah. How big Danny Hart's balls are. You know what? Wanna said it beautifully. Look at that. Does he sit down with balls this big? Yeah. Imagine the pubes on him. Danny. Landscape. We got. Manscaped, we got you, bro. Oh, that anyway, cool. Danny got it, yeah. Yeah, I go Danny Hart. Absolutely, we're, we're nice quite kid. shit at um, commentary on our sport, aren't we? Let's be honest. Yeah, this, you know. Yeah, I truly I love it. I'm going know, out to Lenza. But we talk about it. I'm going, oh, yeah, I'm going out to Lenza Hyder. Yeah, I'm going out um, very soon to Lenza Hyder. Looking forward <clears> to that. There's lots of riding there. And that's the next World Cup. Yes, indeed. And I'm doing like a tourist board job thing out there as well. I think amazing yeah beautiful that'd be cool man we'll get you on the ground again exactly yeah yeah we can we could do another one that'd be cool some actual insights yes let's do it (laughs) sick 
Okay, let's do a few listener questions, dude. We got quite a few through. Let's do um, it. Yes. And even though I messaged before this saying, Lovely. dude, I feel like shit. Let's keep the episode nice and short. An hour and 20 minutes later. Feeling it. <laughs> Flies by, doesn't it? Okay. Flies by. Uh, yeah, it does. Um, at Harold underscore S underscore P. Will there be some TRC merchandising? Ooh, TRC. I've not thought about it like that. TRC. The ride company. I like that. Um, TRC is quite yeah, nice, I guess. isn't it? Hmm. Let's get on the merch awesome. game. We need to. Yeah. We haven't been on the merch game yet, have we? Yeah, I know. We're working on something. Behind the camera, how annoying is that? Yeah, we're working on something. Again, it's a <laughs> teaser. <laughs> we're working on something. Um, one At one underscore darbs underscore one. How do you guys find swapping from your EBS to normal bikes and back again? Any tips? Okay, yeah. Well, how, how do you find it, Davey? Uh, I've not ridden a bike for a while, but uh, easy to be honest. I don't really I think there's that initial thing when you jump on. The problem is at the moment, riding for the same bike brand, they feel quite similar anyway. Mm. It's not like you jump on one and go, This is totally alien. I'm never going to be able to ride a bike for an, well, I'm not going to be able to ride it for an hour. I need to really settle yeah. in. Going between the Jam and the Sam is quite similar for me. Yeah. And there's that initial reaction of, when you go from an e-bike that you've been riding for a little while to the regular bike, there's the little thing of like, oh, this is light. And you pull up to do a first manual or hop over something and you're like, fucking hell, yeah, yeah. I've got right good on a bike all of a sudden or I'm really strong or something. And then other than that, I think it's pretty easy, to be honest with you. I, I would agree. I, re- I reckon the I only f- differences are you muscle around an e-bike a bit more and you brake earlier. So on an e-bike, yeah. you can just storm straight in and end up shooting over the first corner, but you quickly get it, I think. Yeah, I think so as well. Again, it, I think if you keep on top of your bike maintenance as well and stuff, it's not that different. I no. think, like you said, the, that initial thing you say if you go from analog bike to e-bike, stopping, you need to think a little bit earlier about stopping it. Yeah. But if the brakes are working good, you'll be okay. Yeah, you'll be it's fine. the worst that can happen. Absolutely. You know, yeah, not too different, not too difficult. Um, uh, What else we got? Um... Oh, this is a good question. At Jin.Sandhu6. Jin. Yeah, boy. Jin out there doing work. Uh, what are three problems in the mountain bike industry? It's a good question. I like that. As for, at the moment, we're going to go... I'm going to go in there with the number one problem in the mountain bike industry at the moment. Supply. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. <laughs> that's, that's a big problem at the moment in the mountain bike industry is definitely supply. Um that's definitely one i think a confusion of product there's a lot of stuff out there a lot of things that maybe aren't that necessary i think there's a lot of industry changes and industry standards that change that really probably just leave it the same yeah and i might be off on that but i think if you're coming into the sport and you looked at it and you go right wheel sizes okay 26 650b 29 i don't know it's already confusing you don't do that when you're buying a car yeah just absolutely, buy a car yeah i would say uh, that maybe it, I, yeah I that's that's very true that's good too i would say it's pretty tough um i would say uh fairly male based as an industry and uh i would yeah. say that's uh that would solve a lot of uh gripes i would say if there are a few more Oh, dude, when you, when you, well, certainly fucking, I don't know. I think girls are very good at stuff. <laughs> and when you've got buildings full of blokes, I think you get a lot yeah. of like clear objective. Oh, you thinking. mean like industry is like, like yeah, in the I would say, I, I, ah, okay. I, I guess that's what gin means, like the industry or, yeah. I, I guess yeah. that's got, yeah, I would say that would help a lot. Dude, I work at, that's yeah. a really good idea. I, I, I think that's a, tough one and certainly it's it's being fixed with uh there's loads of shit at the minute loads of like um the dark horse invitational was it so that looked yeah. cool again didn't cover it but we should have and there's well this is it now we're doing it dude maybe this and is the problem Audi as well in the mountain bike got, industry Audi nines as well well this is we're two dudes this is the pro- this is it though isn't it this is it it's the problem is in the mountain bike industry there's too much stuff going on and you can't keep a track of what the bloody hell's going on. Because yeah, <laughs> events, yeah. there's all sorts of shit going on. And, yeah, it's tough, yeah. And you're two blokes trying to... T- 
you know <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't remember anything but yeah, the, yeah it is cool to see how the nines have got build a build as well and yeah. then it's going to be a girls category there as well so that's good so generally it it's, is. yeah I think yeah. Is Audi Nines like a live event you can watch, do you know? I don't think so, no. It was always like a media event. So. They used to have a crowd there for a day as a show. Yeah. But I mean, Audi are involved, so the Kuntash Cup now doesn't seem a million miles away. Mm, you, you are know, right. The R8. You are right. The R8. The rate big jump. R8. You are right. I would say, actually, the... the, the um, I'm trying to I'm thinking of other things that irritate me in mountain biking. <laughs> Jin's Jin's really set me off on a uh, tangent here. Yeah, I guess it ir- I irritates know. me that more people don't dig and keep it quiet. That irritates the shit out of me. I knew that was coming. Yeah, yeah so I knew that was. That yeah. mm. <laughs> I know. Anything else? <laughs> 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 no, I don't think I can't think of anything at the moment. If I'm honest, I think, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Nah, I think I'll just leave it at that for now. We gave yeah. three anyway. Yeah, we did. Um, there are many more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam, fats me. Why are bike drivetrains specifically on the right hand side of the bike? Genuinely. <laughs> No idea. No, 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 <laughs> left hand drive for people on BMXs for people who do grind. BMX, yeah. Yeah, I do, yeah. I don't know, but then the disc's over on one the right side, side, the drive's over the other, isn't it? Maybe it's offsetting weight. Is that what you mean? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I was thinking. And quite literally yeah. fitting it in. Imagine having a disc and a cassette. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Ah, true. Maybe. Don't know. I mean, I don't know who decided. if anyone knows, comment below. Please. I bet it was a right handed person. The origins. Probably was. Mm. Um, at Dan Cousins, do you ever get pressure from friends or family to stop as you are both having a spell of injuries? I actually. I'm not. I am not having a spell of injuries <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, you just had a spell all at once. Yeah, I just had. I've just had one. Like, it's not a spell, is it? I don't know. Wait, could, it, People, it would have been I've a had a bit of it. it I'll like be honest. Seven single rib breaks. Yeah, that's a spell. <laughs> Seven weeks consecutively. Yeah. I've had a bit of it, I'll be honest, from a few family members that have been like saying I'm accident prone and this, that and the other. Have you, but it's yeah. purely a coincidence. Yeah, dude, I've been in two helicopters in two years. I mean, three years, sorry, three years. I mean, on paper, it doesn't look good. But if you really look at it, it's actually just two very unfortunate events. I never really get that. <laughs> I never really get told I, I should stop doing it because I think probably people panic about the thought of me not having something to do <laughs> what I would be like if I didn't have it <laughs> then you'd come yeah, around all true. the time oh fuck that <laughs> carry on riding Ollie you get back out there <laughs> get back on the horse dog you got this yeah. oh dear that's class yeah I don't know I've I, you know again I've had it a, a little bit I, I do I used to get it a lot when I was younger to be honest I took some big rips when I was younger but that was motocross stuff it was and a lot of it was probably financial. A lot of it was my mum and dad being like, maybe you should stop this because we're eating beans a lot and it's <laughs> it's kind of shit. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I've got two brand new bikes in the garage, so let's carry on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I don't think, especially recently, there's not really that be hard, much it? to stop. If you think of it the other way around, like if you think of it as your kid, like what mm. you would think. I just obviously can't, yeah. I can't imagine it... With, with bikes, it's hard to imagine it because it's a bit close to your my reality and your reality. But let's say, let's say they were um, uh, what could they be? Free divers. Yeah. And just like your kid kept coming back with like, where well, they've hit the bottom on the forehead over and over again. Okay. <laughs> You'd be what? like, dude. <laughs> Is that free diving? It free diving when you oh, go down with one breath. <laughs> <laughs> you mean diving yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> keep coming back home and they're like oh I've got the bends again so they've come up too quick. yeah you'd be like oh. maybe this isn't for you yeah I've got gas bubbles maybe you're put on this earth to breathe internal. maybe that's what you're put on this oh, earth to do yeah. you'd be like yeah. oh, come on. Well, do you want to just do snorkeling instead or what maybe I can imagine <laughs> like a, a, a scenario where I might t- try and turn them away from it you know maybe you're more of a land creature than... 
Can we do snorkeling again? <laughs> Should we do balls on the beach? Yeah, yeah that's funny. Be hard not know. to, wouldn't it? Uh, it was class. Uh, at Leo Coyle Smith, any ideas to include in the skate jam I'm running slash MCing this weekend? Skate that's jam. That's good. Yeah. Any ideas to include? I mean, obviously giveaways. Can you do some giveaways? Giveaways would be Any good. Any ideas? So it's a skate jam, as in like, as in actual skateboarding. I, I assume. Must be, dude. Yeah. You've got to do. If you remember, Leo was the boy who was giving us the Tinder updates. Oh yes, that's where I recognise the name from. I loved Leo's Tinder updates. They yeah. were good. They were good. Yeah. I think it'd be so good. Definitely, to just definitely do put it in your Tinder bio. MC. That's solid. That is Masters of the Ceremony. Mm. What does it take to be a garage yeah. MC? Originality, exactly. personality. Um, uh, the uh, I think you should do a high jump contest. That's easy, and then you can do it by decks. Creates a lot of hype, doesn't it? Tricks for cash. If yeah, you've got some one. cash, tends to work quite well. You could yeah, just get everyone to chip in. Even there, that a little bit or of money get the spectators. Money. Monopoly money, maybe. Or monopoly money, yeah, yeah. I think the fact you're doing it was already really cool. The fact that you have organised a skate jam. As a, yeah, is you enough. organised it. Yeah, he says he's organising it and, oh, and then seeing it. Yeah, so the fact you've done that is enough, man. You know, and, and Ollie and I have proved you don't have to do much to organise a really cool event. So just keep it simple. Just make sure people are happy. Talk to everyone, and give them underwear. Keep the ball rolling. Oh, no, sorry, and give them underwear. Yeah, and make sure there's good food there. Good food. And yeah. You're good. Yeah. Um, at Rich Rich at TK is buying a dirt jump bike at forty two a midlife crisis. Hmm. I guess arguably it is, but I don't. I don't know, dude. Because you don't. It's not like you're just gonna rock up at some steep dirt jumps. So you can go to the pump track, mm. and actually, a pump track is a civilized activity, and it's good for your bike skill and fitness. So agree. No, I think it's good. It's better than getting a uh, weird sports car. I reckon less midlife. Yeah, crisis. better than an MR2. Yeah. For sure, better than an MR2. I think. I th- what I really like about this is obviously he's forty two years old. So let's just say Richard Richards, um, or R- yeah, Rich has got involved in the sport a little bit later in his his life, and he's probably been one of those guys. Maybe I'm just speculating that's bought like a enduro bike, generic bike, all yeah. around does everything. But then because of listening to us maybe talking, he's gone. You know what? I'm going to try a dirt jump bike. I love that, that because cool. then he's like, he's trying this whole new side of the sport that you wouldn't have got into and pump track is the best thing for bike skills right like just learning to pump learning to manual boom i love that and he's out in new york as well he's that guy that sent us a photo from new york once nice right so i've got uh the trails that i rode at are run by fards who started dirt jumping at 38 so on instagram he's drewster 71 that's nice. like, and he's riding. He's riding trails now, and, he, and he's completely learnt it. So he goes against the kind of view that you can you can only learn it when you're young. So that's cool. If you really want to cool. follow a guy that rides big dirt jumps and that started when he was 38, that's the guy. There's your boy. That's your boy. Um, that's your boy. Um, this one, uh, I don't know where we go with this, but let's just try it anyway. At MTO, the big Geo, the big O, MTO, the big O. No more porn on OnlyFans. How so? will the feet in eight... Yeah, have you not seen that? No. Oh, dude, they've pulled, they've pulled pornography off OnlyFans, which ultimately is what built that platform. But what it is, is it's the um, it's the banks don't want that money. They don't want the dirty money. Same as like weed dispensaries and stuff like that that can't put money anywhere because the banks don't want it. It's true. That's what it is. So they've had to alter their terms and conditions so there's no... Um, Penetrative actual sex. Uh, so now, nudity, I think, is still on there, but you nudity. can't have, yeah, but none of the actual fun stuff you could say, <laughs> none of the stuff that you'd go there for. <laughs> really, yeah. Well, I've, I've actually, yeah. I can't say I've ever been on OnlyFans. I don't know. No, I can't say I've ever been on OnlyFans. So either. it's like a Patreon. I understand what it is. It's a Patreon mm. for porno. It, well, it was. It was, but but not all the time. Not like there's also well, I told you generic I got stuff in touch on there, didn't I? I told you that. Yeah. Did I tell you that. On yeah, the I was hoping you were going to mention it. No, no. Okay, so, no, so OnlyFans got in touch with me and asked and said, <laughs> and and obviously I said to them, well, obviously you have some stigma attached to you, 
you can't just start no. doing mountain biking. They're like, no, no, no. We all we ever wanted to do was. It's it's not a platform yeah. built around porn um, stuff. It's not at all. Yeah. They wanted to do like. No, it wasn't. It was it? It was, they, they it was literally like for. Patreon, yeah. yeah, yeah, for fans. Yeah. I mean the name only fans, fans that like sort it's of fans, there, yeah. but. So as always, the porno people come in. They come in and ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> ruin and ruin it for everyone. Yeah. Bloody porno lot. Oh, so there you go. You can go back on it now. You can do it, man. You can do the right. You can do the coaching. You can do the um... the OnlyFans coaching page. Shall I do one? Yeah. Please, listeners, tell me if you want. Ollie fans. My... <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. I like it. Yeah. Thank there you. we go. Do I need an OnlyFans page? Who knows? Would anyone pay for monthly content? I don't know. You know, 23 quid a month 23 quid a month for simply 23 quid a month I'm always there at the end of the phone you can chat with me and um, dude I don't know what I'm starting up like a OnlyFans self help line porn site but no penetration <laughs> is that what I'm doing I don't really know I've lost I've, yeah it's derailed the idea is gone now I can't remember it I lost control then it turned into me giving people fast forward a year and there you are I naked think, yeah. like how did it happen how did this happen a manscape dad that just went wrong <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Um, couple more. Let's just do two or three more. Yeah, dude, um, I'm, I'm stoked doing them. I love. I love listening to questions. I just sit. I just have to sit in between. I don't mean to lower the energy. No, I just can't see them. It's totally fine, mate. Totally fine. There's so many though this week. It's kind of crazy because we've because we've done this a day late. Ah, I got you. So you actually got all of the questions. Yeah, yeah. Got another like twelve hours worth. Let's do it. Let's um, do another so... 12 hours. We make it marathon. This is a marathon episode. <laughs> episode 8. At Rusty Nuts 32 Ooh. is Ollie going to the Woburn Jam? I'm taking my young gun and would be amazing to meet you. Oh, I think That's this weekend I'm too. Lenser Hider. Oh, is it not think, this weekend? Uh, no. I th- Start of September. Yeah, I think I'm, I'd love to come and meet you and hang out and... Also, the Woburn Jam's pretty historic for me. Like, we always used to go to... That used to be one of the jams that you do on the dirt jump circuit, so... And you missed Brockham because miss you're out, I know. out there too. Yeah. Mate. I missed a couple... Of, missed all of the trail jams this year. Gutted. I'm going to go to the trails in a minute, though. I'm going to Jimmy's trails. Oh, sick. Yeah. All right, we'll not keep you. Um, let's see what else we've got. Um, at Glow It, plug, will you adopt me? I'm 30 and smell like knee pads. I mean, we could adopt you maybe. for the podcast, couldn't we? I don't know who would look after you mostly, but <laughs> you mean like a crowdfunder to look after someone? Yeah, and we could just put ball cream on his knee pads. <laughs> Next question. Uh, at Evan X Trader, can we get a before rampage and after rampage podcast with Brendan, Ollie, and Deeks? I'm sure that can be arranged. I'm really excited about it this year. It's going to be great fun. So we're already yeah. yeah we're already already getting stuff together. We're gonna have Benny with us this year, so we'll Sick. have we'll have lots of content coming out hopefully. That's really cool. Excited. I'm, yeah, would love to do something. You know, just to catch up while you're there or something. We'll figure something out. Pre we'll, some plans. Inter- we'll get you out there doing some interviewing. Yeah. Man on the ground. Yeah, exactly. To get you on the ground. Oh, got I don't always want to be the guy in the house. Like, I don't want to be injured that much anymore. No, I'll be honest it's with you. Boring in it, injuries. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely making me feel injured the more that you're like, oh, I need to make you the man on the ground. Gallivanting around. I know, it does yeah. feel that way. It does. It's opening up a little bit. It's a few more things yeah. happening, so that's good, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, last one. Let me have a look, see what you've got. Okay, at Dirt Chronicler. If you both had to stop mountain biking and turn pro, I'm not pro, disclaimer, in another action sport, what would it be and why? Hmm. Would yours be moto? No. Would it not? No. No. If this is like a full-on, you can choose anything. Because you're literally saying you can, you, you can choose the skill, almost, dude, can't you? You know. Yeah, but that grind of moto, dude. Yeah, it's tough. You know, the n- no days off. Forget days off. Might be so. Forget night without. I think I'd go surf. Yeah. <laughs> Just for the lifestyle as well, you man. Nathan... No doubt it's hard. Yeah. But... You see Nathan Florence's recent um, vlogs from no. Tahiti. Uh, no. Does it look tough? Is so so sick. The footage they get is so so rad. Like yeah. from in the barrel, go with the goey on slow mo, 
and they just ramp down slow mo. Just the the whole wave moving. I could watch it for hours, and I can't surf. Sick. I'll admit it. But all, all right, no. all right. I've said before that I can surf. I, all right, I've only been twice. I can't surf. All right. Mm-hmm. But that's what you go that's with if I'll you go, could yeah. choose. I think I'd I'd do that or dod diving. I think dod diving would be a fun way to earn a living. Or dod diving. Just, that way, where you just jump up stuff. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, an, that's technically flopping. an extreme sport. Yeah, belly flopping. Might be painful at the minute, but yeah. Uh, I, I think cool, I'd go surf. I'm not, for, I'm not up for twisted ankles. Ankles. Yeah. I'm ankles, dude. It. Yeah, I mean. Shit, but drowning, also pretty shit. I think any action sport's going to come with its pros and cons. Yeah, you are right. Um, you know what? I, I, actually, I'd go... I would go moto. I'm thinking about it. I would go moto, Ooh. but I wouldn't necessarily do the race moto stuff. Like I'd Axel be, Hodges I'd go. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you'd do. That's what I'd do. I'd just go full lifestyle. Nice. Full content creation. Yeah, that's what I'd, I'd you know. actually just like... I mean, that, I'd just do what you do. do. I'd just do you do what you do with a motocross bike, please. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Dream. Yeah. The Axel, the Axel Hodges of mountain biking, dude. Never thought about you like that, but... Really? I'd take that. I don't think I am. Ethan Nell's going for that, isn't he? Ethan Nell's going yeah. for Axel Hodges of mountain biking, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Remy Morton, maybe a little bit too. Mm. He's Tyler Behrman. Mm. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, got grind, he's got a grind plate on his downhill bike. Just saw that today, yeah. It's not different, the, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not the most functional thing, but I like it. He's, he's putting it out there. It's cool. You've got to try different stuff, innit? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, it's been a blast, dude. An hour and 40. We've done an hour Even and 40. Say... Easy, dude. Just, just, right, just well, chill. I thoroughly enjoyed the episode. Yeah, me too, mate. Thank you, everyone, as usual, for listening. Don't forget, Manscaped. Look after your nutsack. Thank Ollie and I later. Every time you look down, you can see us when you see your two testicles. I'm Ollie. One's Ollie, one's Davey. Yeah. Nice and cleanly shaven. Yeah, um, offer codes below. It's in the show description. It's in the comments section. Yeah, thank 20% us later, off dude. and free shipping. Thank us later. Thank us later. Yeah, and get your wife to reach out or your partner. Mm. Tell them to thank us too. Absolutely. Yeah. no doubt they're going to be impressed. And, um, <laughs> and that's it. And that's that. It's all love. That's it. Thank you, everyone. That. Peace, brother. Peace. <laughs>